Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm Boxing. New air rifle and some accessories. Finally got here. This should have been here weeks ago. And it ended up in the opposite direction to where I actually live, which is kind of weird. Anyways, at least it finally arrived. It almost was kind of... I wasn't sure if it was going to or not. Um, but it did get here nonetheless, so that's a good thing. So, um, yeah, how do we get into this box? Alright, there we go. So, like many of you pellet gun heads, I need new toys. And these are not the end of the toys that are on the way here either, so. Okay, let's start unpacking this thing. I gotta go through my checklist as well at the same time. Interesting. Holy cow. Alright. That's it. There's a piece of paper at least jammed in the bottom. Might want to get that out. There. You're going to have to open that up from there. So, we got a pile of stuff here. Um, prairie dog targets. You get these in like a pack of six. And uh, they've been on sale. Um, so, I, I got a bunch. Because I, I bought some of these in North Bay. At Long... Uh, at, um, the Fave Sport and Hobby. Anyways, um, I tried out a couple of them. Not on camera yet, but I will. These things rock. And they got different types of targets other than prairie dogs. But I wanted prairie dogs. So, uh, but I will probably end up ordering different types as well. But you got to stock up on this stuff uh, when you can. And uh, the Fave's had only had, I think, two of them in stock. But I got these for far cheaper than what they charge. So, I love Air Gun Source. Great, great website to shop at. Um, at least for me on the internet, I, I, otherwise. So, so, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six packs of those. And Prairie Dogs. One, two, three, four, uh, five packs. My bad. I was going to say, six, I miscounted something. And we've got some targets. These things are really neat. Um, I saw them. I've never shot at one before. But I saw these on their site, and I thought, well, I've got a pelican trap that these suckers should go in. And, of course, I do. And uh, just let me grab one of these things out of here. So there's, uh, what do we got here? we got a deer. Yeah, that's the deer. Or, no, that's moose. Elk, sorry, my bad. I'm getting there. So we got elk, we got turkey, deer, squirrel, and a hog. And uh, so of course you know bullseye is supposed to be the kill zone, I guess. So um, anyways, pack a hundred of these. So we'll throw that back in there. I'm, they look really good, so I think I'm gonna stock up on those and buy a bunch of them. Actually, I love different targets, and I've ordered other regular targets in too from other places. So, like I said, i got a lot of stuff on its way here. So, let's get into our pellets here. See what all we got. Alright, so we should have three packs of these. Super points. Yep, three packs. One, two, and trois. So, these are the um, super point packs. Uh, containers of 200, and they're 14 and a half grain, 22 cal. Of course, all this ammunition, um, pretty sure it's all 22 cal I ordered. We'll see. And we have two cans of Polymake Predator. You don't play with these, sticker. That's what I didn't have on my last ones. Um, anyway, so these are 16 grain. And I think these are the rifle version. 
Yeah, because they're not shorts. Because I wanted rifled rifle versions anyways. I mean, you can shoot the shorts through a rifle, too. They're just, they're shorter, and they weigh less. Okay, so we got two Predator cans. We got the Woodies, we got the Predators. So, ah, this is next. Box of 40, CO2, 6 hour. So, ordered a case of these. Can't have too much CO2, that's for sure. And I wanted to try this brand out. I've primarily used Crossman CO2 for decades. And I have tried out another brand years ago that was very bad for the guns, by the way. I can't even remember the name of the stuff, but I don't even think they produce it anymore. Because um, I've never seen it since. But um, I want to try those out nonetheless. See what guns they work in, what ones they jam up in. And then we'll see what guns get what in this house. So, we got that. That's good. So, next on the list is going to be these things. Now, you know I bought a rifle, obviously, right? So, I wanted a set of scope rings, of course. Because I have a scope I can share for now. And, uh... So I picked these up, and these are called Sports, sports Match. And these are for, like, you know, your 3 8 11 millimeter dovetails. Um, so for 9.5 to 11.5 millimeter grooves for 1 inch diameter scopes. So your scope that has a 1 inch tube on it. Uh, up to 45 millimeter lens diameter. Uh, so you can go up to a 45. So let's just say... 3x9x32, 3x9x40, 3x9x45, okay, or 46 in this case, so that's pretty cool. Of course, a lot of that will depend on your gun and where your rear sight is located. Um, I don't like taking the rear sights off unless I have no other alternative, so I kind of work around that uh, with the scope size and, of course, ring heights, and you don't want your scope, like, standing three feet off the top of your breech because, yeah, good luck sighting it in. So, well, that's on our checklist. So it looks like we got all that fine. So the, yeah, the Predators was just two, three of the Super, five of the Prairies, those things, our six square. So, I, and our animal targets, we got those two. So I guess we gotta open up this gun for you guys. So let's get on with it, shall we? All right, one, two. Third spot here. Maybe not. There we go. Okay. Many of you, of course, will recognize this before I even crack it open. But yes, you're right. You're quite right. It is a QB78. Now, this is the Beeman one. It's not the original Chinese version that we all started with years ago. Beeman now makes these things as well and uh, they do a pretty darn good job on them too um, wow that's nice oh I am so not going to touch this stock that is beauty I guess I'll have to mess with my other QB78 instead darn anyways so uh, QB78s are a bulk fill kind of deal um, so you put in two 12 gram CO2 bottles uh, one goes facing forward, one goes facing up to the sky because the cap will pierce the second one. Um, these things have been around for a long time, and it all started with the Crossman 160. And, of course, uh, nowadays you can get them in Canada, non-PAL, even in the 177 caliber version, which for the longest time was never available to us um, in a non-PAL version. And I do have the QB78 uh, 177. Uh, Canadian Tire actually carries them, although their prices are a little more expensive than everybody else, but hey, it's Canadian Tire, right? But I got mine on sale, so I got a reasonable price. Always wait for the sales to happen. It's usually every five weeks anyway. But um, anyhow, so yeah, that's mighty fine weapon. Very cool. Should be interesting to throw this sucker over the crony and see what it does. But um, Anyhow, so yeah, we got a QB78, we've got all this other toys. Um, ooh, we've got a, a little wrench in here. That's going to be for our breech. Yep, that's going to be for that one. 
So that's cool. I don't even think I got a tool with a uh, Allen key with my 177 one. So we need that. We need that. That we don't need. This we don't need. Okay. Out the garbage. So that's my little unboxing for you guys. Um, do stay tuned. This weekend we are going to have a blast. Apparently it's supposed to be nice, hot, and sunny. So great for shooting CO2 guns, of course. And we are going to give this thing a good rip roar and see how it does with open sights to start with. And um, see uh, what kind of power levels we've got. Because I'm going to crony this thing uh, for you guys this weekend too. Uh, I do like how they recessed the screw in on these things now. They used to stick out, and I think they still do on the on the regular Chinese ones. Um, but Beeman seems to have countersunk this, and that is actually kind of nice because it's a lot more comfortable if you want to hold it like this, right? So that, that's kind of cool. And they are ambidextrous stocks, which is good. So left or right-hand shooters, you'll all be good. So, that being said and done, um, I guess... Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. Just blew my brain across the room. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bad sneeze. <laughs> I've never had to sneeze on camera before, but you can only do an unboxing once, so hey, what the heck. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun this weekend. Uh, I'm going to really enjoy uh, getting this thing out. So now i got one in each caliber, and uh, I still have to crony my 177 one yet. I haven't done that yet. So it's like really crazy. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, do stay tuned for more unboxings of gun stuff. Because like I said, I got a lot more stuff coming in. Um, it's just waiting for the, the orders to come through the mail and stuff. Some stuff was actually supposed to be here today, but it didn't make it. So hopefully it gets here Tuesday after, you know, the holiday weekend, right? And speaking of holiday weekends, if you're going to have a fun time this weekend, do have a fun time, especially with your air guns. Uh, if you've got them, enjoy your weekend. Um, should be nice. But anyway, I'm out of here, so 